Uh, so, dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much that uh, you have you have stayed here until uh, this uh, last uh, last presentation. Uh, dear Mark, thank you very much for the invitation. I am very glad to be here. It's the first time for me, and uh, I, I kind of uh, uh, expect that I am the representative of the evil here. So, <laughs> so I am keen to discuss with you. And I just was I was just asking. Uh, to whom belongs this this uh, notebook? Because there is a sticker from a very leftist organization which is saying, "No Nazis, we are striking back." So, I am happy uh, to help you to uh, fight the Nazis back. And I hope I, I can be a part of this movement. Uh, well, uh, the topic uh, of of my presentation is to make conservative uh, co conservatism uh, great again, and. Uh, um, I would like to, to make just a short presentation and to enter in a discussion with you if you have any question. So we all uh, have, have seen uh, the successes of, of uh, conservative movements, of populist movements across the world. You see here uh, Donald Trump uh, succeeded in the US um, um, <coughs> in, in Hungary. Uh, uh, um, uh, no, help me. Who, who is the guy? <laughs> Victor, thank you. I just wanted to say my friend, but I d didn't recognize the name. So Victor Orban is already uh, a couple of years on power. Uh, and Matteo Salvini in Italy uh, was called a very right, uh, a very right wing uh, movement of, of Lega, uh, is now uh, in a minister. Uh, Hatze Strache uh, in, in Austria. Um, Marie Le Pen uh, didn't won the election, but is uh, around uh, received around 40 percent in France. Uh, we have Bolsonaro now in, in, in uh, Brazil uh, and the AFD here here in Germany. So um, you see, all across Europe and now even around the world in the USA and and and, and so Southern America, uh, conservative uh, parties. Uh, conservative leaders are uh, coming back to power. And uh, if, when I say coming back, so we, we should see fr from where. So whom do, did they strike and why are they labeled as, as extremist, uh, uh, extreme right, and, and, and with, labeled with very negative uh, adjectives? Um, here, we, we in Germany, uh, we have a special case here. Uh, I, I always say we are the last uh, island of, of leftism uh, in the middle of Europe. We are already surrounded by countries where the blue movements, uh, where the conservative movements are, are winning. Uh, the AFD, as, as, as one of, of party of, of these movements, was, was established 2013. So it's quite late. Uh, the FPÖ is uh, existing already since, I think, 30 years and, and is now in the government in Austria. And we are just, just uh, coming into the parliaments, uh, always the first time. Um, and uh, um, so, so the question is, uh, why? Why is this this way? And uh, the, the answer is that the left as such, and uh, we, in Germany we say the Alt 68er, so the generation 1968, uh, was very successful here. They say 1968, they said, okay, we are going to the institutions, yeah, then march durch die Institutionen, and they did it. They were very successful. Uh, they occupied all, all uh, ministries, um, um, all uh, editorial staff, so, so many journalists are claiming themselves that they are left. Uh, so, so they have a kind of um, supremacy uh, and, and they are giving, um, um, yes, setting, set, setting the agenda in, in all kind of discussions. Um, and we have also one very special, a very special point which, which um, is, is nowhere at the world. I, I have to say I w one more thing. I, I'm, I was born in Czechoslovakia, so I'm a political refugee. I've got asylum here in Germany, and uh, I experienced a very new phenomenon here in Germany, uh, that uh, the Germans, part of the society, 
they are hating their own country. And this is something uh, nobody uh, can understand if he is coming from abroad. You know, all the people saying, hey, wh what do you want? You have a, such, a, such a beautiful culture, such a good history, you know, uh, and, and why, why do you hate uh, uh, your, your own country? And here are the pictures, you know, here, here are people, uh, left extremists who are saying, uh, we hate Germany. Um, who are, and, and on those pictures, you, you see uh, really, really high-ranked politicians. This woman is a vice president of the German parliament, Claudia Roth. And uh, she is also here somewhere. She was young. Huh? Uh, and at this banner, there is, the, the, the banner says, uh, Germany uh, never again. And they, they, they are demonstrating with groups, they are s saying Germany is a shithole, you know, and uh, destroy Germany. So th this is a very difficult uh, situation for the society as such, because for, from when, when f those people saying like, let's, uh, let's destroy uh, this country, uh, destroy um, the national self-esteem and give it up give up everything to supranationalist organizations, it, of course, uh, starts some reaction. And this is also the, the uh, uh, girl uh, left. You know, this is a very special um, picture because uh, she is a politician of the um, Pirate Party. And, uh, it, you, I don't know if everybody is aware what, who, who was Bomba Harris. But Bomba Harris was a um, general of the Royal Air Force in the Second World War, and he was responsible for bombing of Dresden. So uh, several hundred people died by this bombing, and she is now saying, Bomba Harris, do it again, please. So this is the attitude of those people uh, we are fighting now with, yeah? And uh, so, how are we doing it? And uh, where do we come from? Um, just a short, short excursion to, uh, to, to the AFD, you know, the party uh, was established 2013 and half of the people who, were never before in any political party. So those, many of them even said, I, I, don't, I don't want to engage in a political party, and uh, they did it. And the other half come from the liberals or from the conservatives. And uh, they just said, okay, we would like to change the climate in this country. That's what I sh showed you before, they just said, we would like to return to a kind of normality. We would like uh, to respect law, and we would like to develop the country back to, to a stage when the people love the country. Um, and coming from this, this point, uh, have uh, international relationships and work in international organizations together. You see a picture with, with Stephen Bannon, with President Zeman of the Czech Republic. I was also in, in, in the USA with uh, Mr. Taczynski, who is a member of the Polish, Polish parliament. This is uh, uh, the uh, US ambassador here in Germany. Um, and uh, this is Hatze Strache. So you see, uh, we are connected uh, with people who have the same attitude, who would like uh, to, to bring the conservative uh, values into the life again, and um, you know, um, when when we, when you ask what 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 are those points, what would you like to to realize? So what, what is what is the conservative uh, conservatism? So I would I would like just to pick pick up some points. It's first allowing and supporting controversial debate again. Because we are facing um, um, PC, you know, we have a wide range of, of topics which are kind of prohibited. We are not allowed to discuss them. Uh, second, 
um, safeguarding inner peace and security. Of course, you all know the problems we are facing now in Europe. So there is a big demand uh, for, for inner peace and inner security. Uh, connected with this, um, strengthening the rule of law, uh, preventing chaos, protecting freedom of speech. So this is also, I am very glad to be here and, and to have the opportunity to, to say everything uh, I, I want. Um, we, are of, we are also fighting. We are fighting for the majority of people that do not want our country and our culture to vanish or to be replaced. Because many people have feel that they are going to be replaced by somebody else, that our culture will disappear. And uh, we are fighting also for the so-called losers of the globalization, so which is the working class and the middle class. And uh, I would like to say that nobody needs to be scared uh, of what's going to happen. Um, nobody is, uh, is, is uh, needed uh, need to, be, to be scared of, of, uh, of those countries. I don't think that, uh, that uh, Donald Trump even is so dangerous as he is presented internationally, you know. Uh, if, and if, if you look at this, uh, he is very popular in the US. Uh, even the midterms showed, uh, sh showed, showed this development because it, at the midterms, uh, all presidents, uh, the, the party of the ruling president is always losing. So under Obama, the Democrats lost uh, many, many seats in, 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 in the Senate. Uh, under um, uh, his, um, uh, Bill Clinton, also the Democrats lost many seats. So, so. Uh, Trump was very successful. And um, so I'm just begging for, for being more, more open, more fair, and not scared about these developments. And uh, we are here in Berlin, and uh, I would like to, to close this uh, short introduction you know, by quotations of two politicians. The first one uh, was uh, John F. Kennedy, who said, uh, Ich bin ein Berliner. And uh, on the left side, we have uh, here in Germany a very famous major, former major of Berlin, who was a guy. And he said, Ich bin schwul und das ist gut so. I am gay and that's, uh, that's okay. So I would say I'm conservative and that's okay too. Thank you very much.